Hello, and welcome back to our little mini-series on Dynamics 365 Marketing. Today, we are going to be showing you customer journeys. This is where all the automation happens inside of D365 Marketing. All right, let's go take a look at it. So I'm in the customer journeys area underneath marketing execution inside D365 Marketing, and then we're going to open up an existing customer journey. So what you're going to see inside of here, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to expand this so it's a little bit easier for us to see. All right, perfect. And now, you know, like you're reading a book, we're just going to go left to right and see how this, you know, process and journey goes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a segment. And then from this group of segments of these customers, we're sending them an email. Then we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at something. We're going to be looking at a trigger. Did they open the email or did they not open the email? If they open the email, we're going to keep going down this path. If they didn't open the email, we're going to go down here and do th this path. So as you can see, is that you know we can kind of build out how we're doing this. But what I will say is that most of the time, customer journeys, a lot of them just have these two components. They have a segment and then they have an email. And so, you know, you don't have to keep building out the rest of this unless you want to nurture or do some other items inside of here. But a lot of customer journeys could just be a segment and, a, you know, an email message, a marketing email. So for those of you who have been watching this series that we've been putting out there, the segment, we have a series on segments. We have a series on emails. So you can see that once you create those, you can call them directly through this customer journey. Let's see what else we can do inside the customer journey. Inside this toolbox, there's a lot of different areas. There's four main areas. There's content, actions, targets, and flow control. So let's talk about right now the targets. So this is what you're starting with. So we're using a segment. So again, if you know from a previous video, a segment is just a list of contacts or a list of um, leads that we are marketing to. Otherwise, this can be triggered by a record being updated inside your environment. Those of you that are familiar with workflows, it works very similar. So you can say if you know something happens inside there, it's going to trigger this, you know, this customer journey to go. So it just gives you some flexibility that maybe you're not starting with a list. And now maybe you're being more reactive if something occurs. Maybe you know if you want a customer, or, or unfortunately if you lost a customer, you know different things can occur, and this journey can get kicked off based on what's happening inside of your you know dynamics environment. Once you have kind of the, you know, who are we marketing to, then we're going to say, what are we doing? What are we doing inside of this? So now we can either send a marketing email, we can get them to a marketing page, we can do a survey, we can maybe kick off or trigger an event, we can push them to a marketing form. So there's multiple different things we can do, and a lot of these things we have covered inside of, you know, some of the videos that we have been doing. There's also actions that we can do. So we can create an activity record. Most common activity record we see is a task, right? Something happens, maybe something happens or doesn't happen. We want someone to follow up with them. So we're going to create a task or an activity record. Maybe we want to create a lead. You know what? Something happened good, and we're going to create a lead um, based on, you know, the interaction, the nurturing that has been going through here. Maybe we want to kick off some automation inside of the tool itself so we can kick off a workflow. We can also kick off a LinkedIn campaign. Now, within this LinkedIn campaign, this uses the LinkedIn lead generator. Now, um, that may need a separate license, but there's a connector that goes from, you know, the customer journey or dynamics marketing into the LinkedIn campaign manager. So um, you can tie into LinkedIn to, to do some more of your lead generation. And then we have flow control. So we have schedulers, we have triggers, we have blank branches, we can split different things off, we can split, you know, we can split items out dip through here. So this just allows us to really control how we are doing this. Now, one area that I'm going to talk about on the scheduler is, is pretty um, neat how it's done inside of here. So I can have a schedule where I'm sending an email. Instead of saying that, hey, I want to send on Monday morning at 8 a.m., you know, send this email out to everybody, blast it out. What I can do now is that inside of Dynamics, based on email addresses, I can collect, or I am collecting, when are they opening up my emails that I have marketed to them in the past. 
it's going to become smart. It's going to learn. It's going to use that machine learning inside of here. And it's going to allow you to schedule and say, send this email within the next week. But send this email when you feel, based on the data that you have, they are going to be more willing or more likely to open up my email. So now it's using, you know, kind of the historical data that you have collected as you're marketing to all of your different customers or leads. And now you're a actually able to use it inside the scheduler to your benefit. All right, let's take a look at how we can, you know, it's pretty simple in how we do this. Like other areas, if I click and drag and drop this, notice it gives me the plus sign. So it's saying, where am I going to be putting this inside of here? Um, I've been doing this for some other demos, so that's why this looks kind of wonky in here, but I'm just going to put it after this other activity. So I'm just going to connect it there. And now when I click on the activity here, I'm going to go to the properties area. And now notice that the properties area lets me configure whatever the properties are for the, you know, the element that I put into the customer journey. So now I said I'm creating a new activity. What type of activity am I creating? And I can use an activity. Um, type on here if I wanted to, and it just gives me the ability to manage some of the information that's specific to the activity that I selected on here. All right, I'm gonna minimize this. Like anything that you've seen in our other videos, there is an insights tab inside of here. So once this just starts getting executed, um, I'm able to start collecting my metrics or my and see my analytics. So if I go to the insights area here, you know, I can start seeing some of the things that are being set here. So it's looking at, you know, what were my delivery results? What were my responses over time? What were the different things that I'm looking at through here? So all that information will be collected and put back into the customer journey that you can do, you know, analytics on at a future time. Let's go back to the customer journey. I just want to show you one more thing before um, we let you go. Um, so that was an example of a pretty simple one. Let's take a look at one that's a little bit more complicated. So I'll look at this one that's more of a drip campaign. And now you can just notice by my little map down here how the different flows are, how many different elements are going into here. Let me expand this a little bit more so it's easier for us to see. And now I'm just going to scroll through here. I'm not going to look, go through each one of these, but notice we have, you know, what's happening. Did they check their email? If they didn't do, you know, wait for a couple of days, we can send in, you know, we can actually send in an in-mail message. If we want to through LinkedIn, we can wait for a couple more days. But this just allows us to build a really nice nurture campaign in here, really powerful. It has multiple different weights, multiple different triggers, multiple different schedules inside of here. And now, you know, you can hopefully walk through getting someone that has never bought from you to now get, become a warm lead that you can pass on to sales. And hopefully it's making your sales team, you know, life's a lot easier. So today we saw how customer journeys or the automation works inside of D365 Marketing. I hope you see that's a really powerful tool. And please keep looking as we keep showing more and more modules of D365 Marketing. Thank you.